Without the railroad, trade and transport over a large landmass such as America would be much harder. However, building a railroad that is so massive is an incredibly difficult task. The rails don't build themselves and the process is incredibly long and tedious and full of legal complication with landowners along the way, as well as the potential for issues among the workers. Well, in today's video, we're diving into Red Dead Redemption 2 to explore the Central Union Railroad camp, to see where we might be of service in making this tedious task a little bit less stressful. I first found the Central Union Railroad camp to be located west of Van Horn Trading Post, just southwest of the 2nd E in New Hanover. Upon arrival here, you can go over and speak with the foreman. Oh, oh, uh, thanks for stopping, sir. Thank you. Um, Percy Whitsickle, Central Union Railroad Company. Maybe you can help me. One of my... One of my workers has been stealing wages. Three weeks running. I have searched everyone and everywhere ten times over. Of course, no one is talking the way they look at me. What's all this got to do with me? Oh, uh, I just... I think I need someone a little more neutral, a little more persuasive. And you look like you're a... And I gotta watch the camp, so... Did you see what you could sniff out? I'll pay you for your efforts, of course. Yeah, I got it. What exactly is it you want me to do? Find the thief and recover the money. And give him his marching orders. I'm not one for that as a personnel. Look for anyone sneaking off the line. Gotta be stashing it away from camp somewhere. Well, can you help me? My head is on the block here. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. We're not going to talk about what this worker in the background was doing, but I get the vibe he just felt the need to climb the barrel. Now we're sent down to the tracks to look for suspicious activity. And sure enough, we find some, just not from any of the cheap labour workers that you would understand needing to steal the money. Alright, I gotta go for piss. Don't keep at it. I'll hear it if you don't. Water, I mean, it's pissing it down with rain. It would appear as if the workers here are not particularly well treated. Anyway, the junior foreman is acting suspicious, so we must follow him. Sure enough, he eventually notices our stalking. What are you doing? Just taking a walk. Well, why don't you go walk someplace else? He continues on his way for a short while longer before turning back around and attacking us. If we then head into the woods where he was going before he turned around to fight us, we will find a relatively large tree. Here there is a hole in the tree where the money is stashed. It would appear as if the junior foreman's termination of employment notice has been delivered by means of a broken nose. Now we have to head back to Percy Whitsicle, who looks like the face on the Pringles can, to inform him of our success. And of course, to return the stolen money. I got your money. Here. You're gonna need a new junior foreman, though. He just quit. Randall? I don't believe it. Well, that does explain a few things. Thank you for your help, partner. Here, for your trouble. After leaving the camp, we can continue along our gunslinging adventures elsewhere. You can come back as frequently as you like for some relatively uninteresting dialogue. If you continue along the main story, you will come back and notice that the camp appears to have moved a bit further north. Again, we can go and expose ourselves to the woes of the foreman. <laughs> Scuppered this time. Properly scuppered. The land up ahead got bought out from under us and we can't finish the track. Yeah, they won't admit it, but I just know this is old Leviticus Cornwall's doing. It 
has to be. Would you, uh, talk to them for me? I'll pay you well, I promise. Cornwall, you say? All right, I'll talk to them. But it may take a little convincing. You do whatever you need to do. Stylish as ever, Leviticus Cornwall has hired some thugs to sit in front of the path of the track being built and halt its construction. So let's go reason with these unreasonable fellows. Hey you, what are you doing here? This is private property, you're, you're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so they ain't going any further. Oh, you gonna live here all happily ever after, is that it? What's it to you? You can drop the act. Everyone knows you're Cornwall's nursemaid, so why don't you run on home and go wash his fat feet? What the hell did you just say? You better start running, you son of a bitch. Must have got it wrong then. Apologies, boys. You know what? On second thoughts... Hey there, partner. Good evening, mister. I see any of you again, you'll wish I shot you too. Lazy bums. After beating one of the thugs in a duel, the other two will simply run off and leave the deed behind. Now that we have the deed to the land, I presume the land is now the property of the Central Union Railroad. It is now time to go deliver the good news to Mr. Percy Pringles. One deed to the property. They was very understanding. You got my money. Yes. I was just about to call it a day. Thank you. Me and Mr. Cornwall go way back. <laughs> Without further interference from Leviticus Cornwall and his money-grabbing shenanigans, construction resumes and every few days you can notice the progress being made. So in a way we can be happy knowing that we've helped get this rail built, even if it is suggested that it's built off the back of unethical cheap labour. But who cares, we got paid. From here on out we don't have to carry out any missions for the Central Union Railroad, but we can come back and observe the progress if we so wish to do so. And of course, by the epilogue, the railroad is completely finished, and no doubt these gentlemen's hard work got somebody else a very fat paycheck. Whether or not he looks like he belongs on a can of Pringles is anybody's guess. But I suppose that nicely concludes today's video on the Central Union Railroad and the struggles of its construction. Regardless of whether or not you interfere with the railroad company as Arthur Morgan, by the epilogue the railway is finished. And so that's the end of this video, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be fantastic. Thank you for 200,000 subscribers, that is insane, I know I did a video specifically for that milestone, but I thought I'd thank people somewhere that's actually going to get views. And with any luck soon I'll have another Red Dead video out for you to enjoy, I have the topic, I've been working on it already, it will be soon. But until then take it easy and I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.